the Yankees have been in pursuit of free agent 3B, SS Manny Machado, who is reportedly looking for a deal that will pay him roughly $300 million over 10 years. Here are the latest rumors, Jan. 18, 10, 20 p.m., Machado met personally with at least one of the unidentified teams in recent days, reports Sneetivy's Andy Martino. The All-Star will go to the highest bidder, period, says Martino, Jan. 17, 8.01 a.m., Machado's agent, Dan Lozano, came out firing at ESPN's Buster Olney in USA Today's Bob Nightingale for what he said was reckless and inaccurate reporting regarding their claim that the White Sox had a seven-year offer for $175 million out to Machado, saying, the truth is that their reports on the details of the White Sox level of interest in Manny are completely wrong, Jan. 16, 12, 19 p.m., the White Sox offered Machado $175 million over seven years, reports ESPN's Buster Olney. According to Olney, Chicago's approach is like Boston's with J.D. Martinez last offseason. The Red Sox offered $100 million to Martinez and waited two months, Jan. 13, 10.43 p.m., the White Sox have an eight-year offer on the table for Machado, who is also still in contact with the Phillies and a mystery team, reports ESPN's Jeff Passan. According to Passan, the willingness of interested teams to offer $300 million or more for Machado or fellow free agent Bryce Harper, whose strongest suitors could be the Phillies and Nationals, is not yet known. January 13, 1.44 p.m., the Phillies have emerged as the clear-cut favorite to sign Harper, reports Bob Nightingale of USA Today. And Harper winding up in Philly could have a ripple effect on the Machado market. While the Phillies haven't ruled out the potential of signing both Harper and Machado, Nightingale believes Machado will wind up with the White Sox, Jan. 13, 11, 16 a.m., the Phillies remain confident they will sign either Machado or Harper, and seem to have more interest in Machado, reports Matt Breen of Philly.com. According to Breen, the Phillies will be finalists for Machado and Harper and will most likely be making the most lucrative offers for both Jen. 9, 8.40 p.m., the Yankees have been the least aggressive team of the three suitors, but Zipporti's Hector Gomez reported the Bombers are entirely out of the race. That would leave the Phillies and White Sox as the two teams vying for the five-time All-Star, though SNY's Andy Martino says the Yankees haven't been engaged with Machado since New Year's, he won't write them off just yet. He notes that GM Brian Cashman usually strikes with his official offer aggressively, and it comes very fast. It may not look good for Yankees fans right now, but all hope isn't lost just yet. January 9, 2.43 p.m., Machado is still seeking a $300 million deal but the White Sox and Phillies are not believed to be close, per John Heyman of Anchored. Heyman reconfirms previous reports that Yankees have not made an official offer yet, although they are preferred destination, although MLB.com, as Mark Feinstein reports momentum is heating up toward Machado signing with Phillies, January 9, 10.46. A.M., Manny Machado is expected to make his decision within a week, according to Chicago 670's Bruce Levine, who also reports the Yankees have indeed made a bid on the free agent, Jan. 8, 6.45 p.m., the Yankees continue to be tentative with Machado, and according to the Post's Ken David Off, the team actually hasn't made an official offer to him yet. The White Sox and Phillies, the two teams that are being more aggressive in their pursuits, have made official offers. Philadelphia is even working on a second offer to throw Machado's way. USA Today's Bob Nightingale points out that the Yankees could be looking to gauge Miguel on Duhar's trade market, which is why they aren't making as hard a push at Machado compared to their competition. But they are definitely the least aggressive team despite reports that Machado would prefer the Bronx if the offers were close. Jan. 3, 5.26 p.m., the White Sox have reportedly made an official offer to Machado, according to USA Today's Bob Nightingale. Nightingale reports it as a serious offer, but it is likely closer to $200 million than $300 million, Deck. 
26, 6.45 p.m., according to the Post, Joel Sherman, neither Bryce Harper or Machado, particularly likes Philadelphia, instead, they both prefer the Yankees. Obviously, Harper hasn't been on the Yankees' radar, but if it's true for Machado, it would go with the update below that said Machado reportedly told his friends he preferred the Yankees. The decision still won't come until the new year, but the Yankees continue to appear the frontrunner if the deals are closed, deck. 21, 4 18 p.m., Machado is finished with his meetings with the Yankees, Phillies, and White Sox, but a decision won't be made until after the new year, Bankard Sports' John Heyman reports. He has let all three teams know that will be the case. Deck. 21, 10 14 a.m., while Machado is reportedly telling friends he prefers the Yankees, the Phillies and possibly even the White Sox are likely to outbid the Bombers for Machado, according to Joel Sherman of the New York Post. Deck. 20, 12 28 p.m., Machado's meeting with the Phillies on Thursday lasted roughly four hours, according to Matt Jelb of The Athletic. Deck. 19, 2.50 p.m., the Yankees' meeting with Machado on Wednesday at Yankee Stadium lasted roughly 90 minutes, reports Lindsay Adler of The Athletic. GM Brian Cashman, manager Aaron Boone, and LHPCC Sabathia were among those at the stadium during the meeting, according to the New York Post, Deck. 16, 11, 23 a.m., the White Sox are meeting with Machado in Chicago on Monday, though Buster Olney of ESPN reported that the Sox aren't interested in signing Machado or Bryce Harper to a record-setting deal, deck. 14, 11, 20 a.m., the Phillies, one of the Yankees' biggest competitors for Machado, scheduled a visit with Machado next week in Philadelphia, according to USA Today's Bob Nightingale, deck. 13, 1.55 p.m., neither the Angels or Giants are expected to be a mystery team for Machado due to the fact that they're not willing to give him a 10-year deal, reports The Athletic's Jim Bowden, citing multiple sources, Deck. 12, 9.07 p.m., Yankees GM Brian Cashman said the team is a fully operational Death Star, suggesting that while they might not be in on Machado and or Bryce Harper that they have the ability to pivot at any moment depending on their current needs. December 11th, 10.09 p.m., three mystery teams could join the White Sox, Phillies, and Yankees as suitors for Machado, according to Van Cred's John Heyman. Deck. 11, 12.03 p.m., the Yankees could be willing to trade Miguel on Duhar this offseason, with could open up third base and lead to a run at Machado. Deck. 10, 6.11 p.m., Cashman has spoken to Machado's agent multiple times. According to SNY's Andy Martino, the Yanks aren't all in on Machado. McCarran, to top Red Sox, Yanks must go all in on Machado greater than greater than read more related, Yankee Stadium reportedly ranks worst in food sanitation among MLB parks greater than greater than read more related, could Tulowitzki be an option to fill Yankees SS void? Greater than greater than read more, Peter Aiken, when Troy Tulowitzki was released by the Blue Jays back in December, it appeared his MLB career was coming to a close, he hadn't seen a diamond in the bigs since July, 28, 2017, as recovery from heel surgery wasn't the eight weeks the Blue Jays thought it would be, but then there was his open showcase at Long Beach State in December that changed that narrative. Being a five-time All-Star normally piques the interest of MLB front offices, but Tulowitzki's workout at his alma mater opened some eyes to the point where offers were put on the table. And Long Beach State head coach Troy Buckley, who helped conduct the workout, knows exactly why. Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, Mel Zitter is already thinking about summer nights at Yankee Stadium, watching two of his former pupils working in the bullpen, wearing pinstripes. That's going to be a trip, Zitter says, chuckling. It should be a point of pride for Zitter, since he runs youth service, the Brooklyn Sandlot Club that new Yankee teammates Dylan Bettences and Adam Ottavino both pitched for in the mid-2000s. Jane Kamin once a John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, maybe Alex Cora was simply playing to the crowd at the Boston Baseball Writers' Dinner Thursday night. But suffice it to say he didn't seem concerned that the Yankees had just added another weapon, Adam Ottavino, to the best bullpen in baseball, somebody might write this, I don't care, Cora said upon receiving his Al Manager of the Year award.
If you guys thought last year was special, wait till this year, New York Yankees starting pitcher Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP photo, Nick was his AP, the Yankees appear to be getting closer to trading Sonny Gray, the Red Star, making progress on acquiring the right-hander, Sneedy V. Zandy Martino confirmed. The Giants and Padres are also talking to the Yankees about Gray, Van Creds John Heyman reports the teams are discussing prospects and possibly a draft choice as potential pieces in the deal, will Yankees get Nolan Arenado? 0 hours 0 minutes and 48 seconds SNY Baseball Insider Andy Martino has sources telling him the New York Yankees may trade for Nolan Arenado instead of signing Manny Machado. Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, earlier this week, after I published my 9 million story of the offseason about the Yankees and Manny Machado, a major league source reached out with a suggestion, don't sleep on the Yanks and Colorado third baseman Nolan Arenado. Certainly, there's been smoke there already. Back in December, WFAN Sweeney Murray wrote about how Arenado would fit the Yankees, and on Friday morning, MLB Network's Ken Rosenthal made passing reference to the possibility on the hot stove. Morning Show, October 3, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers infielder Manny Machado waits for his turn in the batting cage prior to Game 1 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Robert Hanashiro USA Today Sports, Robert Hanashiro, Manny Machado's dad is adding some more intrigue to his son's free agency, we know Machado has at least been offered a 7 or 8 year deal by the White Sox, but the elder Machado told Hector Gomez of Z101 Digital on Friday that the Phillies, Yankees and even Dodgers have all made offers to his son, and while the White Sox appear to be the strongest suitor, Manuel hinted his son could still sign elsewhere. Colorado Rockies relief pitcher Adam Ottavino pitches against the Pittsburgh Pirates during the ninth inning at PNC Park. Charles Leclerc, USA Today Sports, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives The Yankees will be adding another elite arm to an already dominant bullpen, giving the club a certain advantage over virtually the entire league. New York and free agent right-handed reliever Adam Ottavino agreed to a three-year, $27 million deal on Thursday, SNY.TV, as Andy Martino confirmed. April 24, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees manager Aaron Boone, 17, takes the ball from New York Yankees relief pitcher Dellen Bettences, 68, in the seventh inning against the Minnesota Twins at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Noah K. Murray USA Today Sports, Noah K. Murray, the use of an opener, in Major League Baseball is a polarizing topic. Fans either love it, or hate it. With more and more teams experimenting with the idea after Kevin Cash and the Tampa Bay Rays saw successful results, it's reasonable to think the New York Yankees could be the next club to start a relief pitcher on the mound. For one, they've already done it. Right-handed reliever Jonathan Holder started, coincidentally, against the Rays on Sept. 24 He pitched one inning before handing the baton to Stephen Tarpley, Sonny Gray, Chad Green, David Robertson, Aroldis Chapman, Dylan Bettences and, finally, Zach Britton to cap the game. Given, the Rays were nine games behind the Yankees with no shot of overtaking New York for the wildcard spot. So the stakes to use an opener were low. The point is, eight relievers and a 4-1 win later, it worked, October 26, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado, 8, hits a single in the sixth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 3 of the 2018 World Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Jane Kameen wants a USA Today Sports, Jane Kameen wants a, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, the exact terms of the Chicago White Sox offer to Manny Machado are not known, you might have. Noticed some drama about that topic Wednesday, but some new details of their discussions could offer a road map to the Yankees, if they want to jump back into the Machado sweepstakes. The sides have at least discussed a contract structure that would allow Chicago to exercise an option after year three that would trigger team control for an eighth or ninth year, according to Major League sources.
This probably accounts for some of the confusion over whether Machado has a 7 or 8 year offer on the table. He has likely been offered a contract that could be either. That structure, Machado would get to opt out after 2021 if the team doesn't opt in. The Yankees and Zach Britton recently agreed to that structure, which Britton's agent Scott Boras called a swell opt in an interview with Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. New York Yankees starting pitcher Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP photo, Nick was his AP, while the Yankees are making trades that may be surprising fans this offseason, there's still an expected deal remaining. The Yankees are getting closer to trading Sonny Gray, according to a report from fan creds John Heyman. In addition to Gray, teams are also asking about Tommy Canely and Jonathan Holder. Per Heyman, things were ramping up in talk centering around Gray since CC Sabathia was given clearance to pitch. Heyman also recently reported at least six teams are interested in the right-hander, which includes the Reds, Padres, Brewers, A's, Mariners and Braves. Yankees signed with Adam Adovino 0 hours 0 minutes and 39 seconds SNY Baseball Insider Andy Martino likes the Yankees signing of Adam Adovino, here's how he thinks it will impact their alley's chances. The Yankees are closing in on a three-year deal with free agent reliever Adam Adovino, SNY's Andy Martino confirmed. The deal will be worth $27 million over three years. Ottavino is coming off a huge season where he had a 2.43 era, 2.7, 4 FIP, and 112 strikeouts in 77.2 innings, or a 13K, 9 ratio and did it while pitching his home games hitter friendly Coors Field with the Rockies. His 0.99 whip in 2018 was much improved from a 1.63 whip with a 5.06 era in 2017. New York Yankees designated hitter fielder Clint Frazier doubles during the seventh inning at Kauffman Stadium. Peter Aiken, USA Today Sports, Yankees outfielder Clint Frazier tweeted he has been cleared for spring training and hopes to win a spot on the Major League roster after he missed most of the 2018 season due to concussion-like symptoms. Why aren't Yankees spending? Zero hours, zero minutes and 33 seconds Sweeney Murati goes in depth as to why he believes the Yankees are being cautious about spending money on Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. Yankees fans have been a bit confused this offseason, as GM Brian Cashman has been relatively quiet with the moves he has made. Instead of spending on players like Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, he has instead signed names like Troy Tulowitzki and DJ Lemay to fill in the gaps. Normally, New York is the team that goes after the big shots on the market, but why hasn't that been the case this offseason? Sweeney Murati explains how the Yankees' recent success these past two seasons has kept Cashman's checkbook in his pocket instead of hashing out the big deals. September 15, 2018, San Francisco, California, USA, Colorado Rockies infielder DJ Lemieux, 9, looks to throw the ball during the seventh inning against the San Francisco Giants at it. Mandatory credit, Keel Maddox USA Today Sports, Keel Maddox, newest Yankees infielder DJ Lemieux was introduced on Wednesday during a conference call with the press. The three-time Gold Glove Award winner agreed to a two-year deal with the Yankees on Friday. Here's what we learned about the All-Stars' upcoming role in the Bronx. All signs point to Lemayu serving as a super utility man. The possibility of Lemayu playing in multiple positions for the Yankees next season is high. New York told the infield to bring a lot of gloves to spring training, according to the Athletics' Lindsay Adler. Although Lemayu has only patrolled second base since 2015, he said he's comfortable playing shortstop, which will aid the Yankees while Didi Gregorius recovers from surgery, March 11, 2018, New York, New York, USA, a general view of Yankee Stadium before the game between the New York City and the Los Angeles Galaxy. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports, Vincent Carchietta, the Yankees made a trade with the Diamondbacks on Wednesday, acquiring LHP Ronald Roman and cash considerations in exchange for minor league of Tim LaCastro, for MLB Network's Mark Feinson.
New York designated LeCastro for assignment earlier this week to make room for DJ Lemieux, and instead of letting him walk, they were able to get a return. Roman is a 17-year-old Dominican Republic product the D-backs acquired as an international signee last year. Roman has yet to play a professional game, while LeCastro has been playing in the minors since 2013 when he was drafted by the Blue Jays. In AAA last season he owned a .279 average with 4 homers and 25 RBI. Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, Manny Machado was supposed to help the Yankees surpass the Red Sox. He's apparently not coming, and neither is Bryce Harper, so the Yanks should double down on their strongest facet, the bullpen. If the Yankees want to measure up to the Red Sox, they must possess an advantage somewhere on the roster that unequivocally distances the World Series champs. Adding one more elite reliever, like Adam Adovino, should make it next to impossible for the Red Sox to catch the Yankees in that department even if Boston re-signs Craig Kimbrell. Boston arguably has a slight edge in the rotation and the offenses are quite similar in strength but the overall scale could tip toward New York if the Yanks add to an already dominant bullpen. Much has been made about the Yankees coming up short in the offseason if they're unable to secure Machado or Harper. Expectations were high that one of the two 26-year-old stars would become part of the Yankees after the team reset their luxury tax rate. Adding Machado or Harper would have clearly pushed the Yanks' offense ahead of Boston's. October 7, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies second baseman DJ Lemieux, 9, hits a double during the third inning against the Milwaukee Brewers in Game 3 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Russell Lansford USA Today Sports, Russell Lansford, it's not just his gold glove the Yankees like about DJ Lemieux. The Yankees' internal data suggested Lemieux was undervalued offensively, according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. His elite defense and superior makeup are bonuses for New York, which signed the former Colorado Rocky to a two-year, $24 million contract. March 11, 2018, New York, New York, USA, a general view of Yankee Stadium before the game between the New York City and the Los Angeles Galaxy. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports, Vincent Carchietta, former New York Yankees closer and Texas Rangers Hall of Fame pitcher John Wetteland was arrested on Monday on a child sex abuse charge in Texas. The Dallas Morning News was the first to report the arrest. Wetteland, 52, is accused of continuous sexual abuse of a child under the age of 14, according to Denton County Jail Records. He posted a $25,000 bond and was released from custody on Monday, the same day as his arrest. New York Yankees former player Mel Stottlemyre is introduced during the 66th annual Old Timers Day game at Yankee Stadium. Brad Penner US Press Wire, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, Mel Stottlemyre always seemed to be at peace with the fact that he came along at the wrong time in Yankee history, an all-star pitcher on many bad teams during one of the longest championship droughts the franchise has ever known. I was always too blessed to think of it that way, Stottlemyre told me once. Even after being diagnosed with multiple myeloma, the blood cancer that he succumbed to on Monday at age 77, Stottlemyre had the relentlessly positive outlook of a man who was grateful for his lot in life, as a major league player and then coach with five world championship rings. Harper, McCarran, Sherhoff, Boats, 0 hours, 0 minutes and 54 seconds SNY's John Harper and Anthony McCarran debate their votes on whether Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens should be enshrined in Cooperstown. John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, even with four newly elected Hall of Famers off the ballot, and my auntie Ped stance firmly in place regarding Barry Bonds or Roger Clemens, I still voted for 10 players this year, the sixth straight time I've used the maximum number of spots allowed, so I guess I'm officially a big hall guy now, after years of thinking small hall was the way to go. And I'm okay with that, not that I'm good with Harold Baines being elected by a 16-person committee in December, but I do believe that for years baseball writers as a whole tended to take too much pride in making the
Hall of Fame more exclusive than those in other sports, at the expense of rewarding excellence, New York Yankees pitcher CC Sabathia throws the ball during workouts one day before the 2018 American League wildcard game at Yankee Stadium. Danielle Parhis current slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Sports, Yankees LHPCC Sabathia was just having a catch with teammate Dylan Bettences when he began to feel shortness of breath. He knew something was up. For me, Sabathia told Yes Network's Ryan Ruaco, normally, I can run, swim, do whatever, elliptical for however long. My cardio's normally really good. So for me to have shortness of breath playing catch, I knew something was up. The 38-year-old Sabathia would undergo an angioplasty to clear a blocked artery in December, a heart procedure he is expected to recover fully from. Mariano Rivera pitched a scoreless ninth inning. AP Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, Let's start the discussion of my 2019 ballot for the Baseball Hall of Fame with an easy one. Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer in history, gets my vote en route to enshrinement. Any objections? No, that won't last long. Mel Stottlemyre passes away 0 hours 0 minutes and 58 seconds. SNY's John Harper and Anthony McCarron reflect on the life and legacy of Mel Stottlemyre. Former Yankees and Mets pitching coach Mel Stottlemyre died at age of 77 at his home in Seattle on Sunday night, as first reported by Bill Madden of the New York Daily News. Stottlemyre had endured a long battle with bone marrow cancer, he won a World Series as Mets pitching coach in 1986 and won four World Series as pitching coach for the Yankees from their title run between 1996 to 2000. Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado celebrates after hitting a home run during the first inning against the against the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the 2018 NLDS at Dodger Stadium. Richard Maxson, USA Today Sports, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, for months, it's been clear through sources that while the Yankees like Manny Machado as a player, they don't plan on outbidding aggressive teams like the Phillies and White Sox. Now, word comes from a person with direct knowledge of Machado's thinking that he plans to choose the team that makes the highest offer. In most cases, this would be about as stunning as source, Sun will set this evening, September 1, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees shortstop Glaber Torres, 25, is congratulated after hitting a two-run home run against the Detroit Tigers during the fifth inning at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Andy Marlin USA Today Sports, Andy Marlin, with the addition of BJ Lemieux, the Yankees now have two of the top 10 second basemen in baseball, at least according to MLB Network's top 10 second basemen right now, show. Glaber Torres, number 8, and Lemieux, number 10, made the list. The full list, in order. October 8, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees starting pitcher Luis Severino, 40, reacts after being relieved in the fourth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 3 of the 2018 ALDS Playoff Baseball Series at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Adam Hunger USA Today Sports, Adam Hunger, with the deadline for teams to exchange numbers with players who are arbitration eligible passed on Friday, the Yankees had nine players to strike deals with. And all but one settled. The Yankees' RHP Luis Severino will enter arbitration as both sides couldn't come to terms. Severino, who made $604,975 last season, is projected to make $5.1 million in arbitration. But Severino didn't help himself with a rough second half of his 2018 season. This will be Severino's first year in arbitration, so the process will be new to him. It also may be new to some Yankees fans depending on if you followed Dellen Benz's rough hearing back in 2017, September 15, 2018, San Francisco, California, USA, Colorado Rockies infielder DJ Lemieux, 9, looks to throw the ball during the seventh inning against the San Francisco Giants at it. Mandatory credit, Keel Maddox USA Today Sports, Keel Maddox, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, the Yankees came to an agreement with a gold glove infielder Friday afternoon, but it wasn't Manny Machado.